name is Ms. Artastic and today we're going to make um, unusually textured fruits and vegetables. For this tutorial you're going to need something to draw with and anything to color with. Um, you can use whatever you have available um, in your classroom or at home at this time, whether it be a marker, you can use pencil crayon, um, you can draw with crayons, um, you can draw with pencil, um, and also if you don't have a black, you can always draw with a purple, blue, or a brown, something dark, okay? So find something to draw with, whatever you have, and anything to color with, and let's get started. Okay, so we're going to begin by drawing our fruit and vegetables and then we're going to give them some unexpected or different textures. Textures that they don't normally have in real life. But these are going to be cartoons, so it's going to be silly anyways. We're going to begin by drawing an apple and our apple is going to be in the middle of the page. So I'm going to draw a curving line for the top of the apple. Next, I'm going to draw a stem going up and to connect it, I'm going to add an oval. And if you want, you can add a little swirly line in the inside of that as well. Next, I'm going to draw the body of my apple. And my apple is going to be a little bit larger than my other fruit and vegetables because it's going to be the focal point of my specific drawing. On this side, I'm going to draw a carrot. And on the other side, I'm going to draw, um, hmm, I think maybe a pineapple or at least the beginning of one. Okay. I'm now going to draw the eyes in the center of my apple before I add the texture. Or maybe, yeah, we'll do that. So on either side of our apple, we're going to draw a circle. Just like that. And in each circle, we're going to draw one large circle and two smaller circles. After, use whatever medium you are using to draw with to color in the rest of the eyes. Now that we have two eyes on our apple, we're going to give our apple a happy mouth. Now, I'm going to draw a line in between the eyes for the mouth, like that. I'm going to draw the letter U for the bottom of the mouth. And then from the top right corner, I'm going to sweep my marker across in a curving line to draw the tongue. Then you can take your marker and simply color in the rest of the mouth or use whatever medium you have available to you. You never ever ever have to do exactly what I'm doing in the video. You should always put your own little artist flavor or artist touch on your artwork. Okay, so our apple has a little face and an apple body, okay? I'm also going to, before I continue to do the other guys, I'm going to add a little shiny spot because apples are very smooth and sometimes waxy and they have a nice shiny surface. Okay, so I'm going to um, add some scales onto my apple. So I'm going to change the texture by removing this nice smooth surface and actually I'm going to add a scaly surface. 
I am going to leave a bit of the scales off around the face because I don't want to take away from the details there. So I'm going to begin by picking a spot where I'm going to start the scales and I'm going to start along this line there where that curve naturally happens. So I'm going to draw curving lines which are basically like the letter U and I'm going to use that to draw scales. Now we need to offset the scales, so what I like to do is I like to draw a scale in between the other row, and then I'll continue from there. So that way the next row is lined up between the scales on the previous row. Now as I come towards the face, I'm just going to add some scales, but I'm going to avoid where the eyes are. So I'm going to add them more at random. Now that I'm lower enough, I can continue my scales right across. Okay, now I'm going to add some scales around the back and it's going to be going the opposite way of where the original scales were going because this is the back side kind of of the apple. Okay, now I am going to keep the texture of the stem as wood so I'm just going to add some lines to add a bit of a wood texture. Now before I continue, I'm going to go over the exterior line or perimeter line of my apple. I'm just going to thicken it up so it stands out a little bit better. Great, now our apple looks nice and clean and tidy and it looks quite scaly. Okay, so next I'm going to draw a little pineapple baby over here. It's going to be a lot smaller than a traditional pineapple and a lot of the top will be kind of hiding out um, above the page. This is going to be a fluffy pineapple. So usually pineapples are a lot more um, spiky. But I'm going to change the texture by making this a fluffy pineapple. So I'm going to do some curving lines that are more gentle for the outside of the uh, pineapple. And then I'm going to quickly draw the top leaves. So I'm going to draw some curving triangles outward. So that's the base of the leaves. Then I'm 
want to draw some more that of course extend off the page and then down the center we draw a line perfect okay we need to give our fluffy pineapple a face before we add the texture in the inside so I'm going to draw two eyes uh, maybe I should put them at a different height than the apples. Okay, so I'm going to do them a little bit lower. Two circles on either side of the page. This time I'm going to draw two, just two large circles on the inside. And then color them in. Okay, then I'm going to give my pineapple a little mouth, just like that. Now I'm going to draw a whole bunch of curving lines on the inside of my pineapple to change the texture from being spiky to looking a lot more soft and cuddly. And like we did with the apple, we're going to go around and thicken up all those lines on the perimeter or the exterior. And I'm also going to thicken up the mouth so it stands out a little bit more from the rest of the lines in the body. Okay, so our pineapple is also done as well. And for our last um, one, we're gonna do a vegetable and this vegetable is gonna be a creepy looking carrot because it's going to appear to be very slimy. So we're gonna draw a nice slimy carrot. Okay, I'm gonna start off with a carrot top. And my carrot top is going to begin with some slime coming off the side there. And then I'm going to work my way down the side of it and I'm going to add some drips. Off the carrot. And I'll turn those into some slimy bits later. And now I'm going to add my carrot greens. First I'm going to draw the interior part. And then I just use some zigzag lines to draw the rest of the carrot greens. All 
right, switching Sharpies. Okay, I'm gonna go around the outside of this guy. I'm gonna thicken up the lines on the exterior and then we're gonna draw a face. As well, we're gonna also add some more slimy texture bits on the inside of this carrot. Okay, we're gonna give our carrot a little face. Maybe his face is gonna be way at the bottom. Two circles on either side. A large circle in either pupil. And two smaller circles in each pupil as well. And then, like the apple, we fill in the rest there. Next, we're gonna give our carrot a mouth. So we're gonna draw a straight line between the eyes. A very large U, and this carrot is going to have some sharp teeth. And then at the bottom, draw a letter M on the inside of the mouth, and that will be the tongue. And then we're going to color in the rest of the mouth. Okay, now we're going to add some more slimy bits in our carrot just like that and in some of these guys we're going to add little boxes there and that's just for the glare of light because if it's slime it should probably be shiny that's extra creepy Okay, and now we have to add some lines across the carrot because it is a carrot and they do have some texture lines like that. There we go. Now we got a super creepy slimy carrot. Okay, we are ready to color and what I would like you to do is pick any medium that you want to use to color your art piece. For me, I'm going to be using felt markers and a white and black pencil crayon for highlights and shadows, but please feel free to use whatever you have available to you.
Okay, so for highlighting, we're going to use white pencil crayon and black pencil crayon, but you can also try using um, crayon as well if you would like. Okay, so we're gonna begin on the apple. And we're gonna start off with the highlights first. So I'm gonna add white pencil crayon anywhere I think there should be highlights along the apple. And the apple is gonna have a lot more highlights because we have the scales too that we want to make them look shiny as well. Next we're going to use our black pencil crayon to add some shadows. So first I'm going to shade in and around the stem, gently around the mouth, and also around the eyes. I'm also going to shade just under some of the scales to make them pop. You can choose to do all the scales or under some of them to make them feel like they're popping off the page. Okay, so we have our apple. Now we have to do the same process on our last two fruit. So start off with your highlights. I'm going to 
add some shadows just a little bit behind some of these curvy bits. And we're just being very gentle with the black pencil crayon. I'm also going to shade under the mouth and around the eyes. Last, we're going to do the creepy carrot. All right, here we go. Highlights first. Remember, we want to make all these gooey bits look shiny. And some shadows. So I'm going to shade around the stem and then underneath all these creepy, creepy, slimy blobs. Don't forget to do around the eyes and around the mouth. Perfect. Our unprecedented textured Fruits and veggies are now done. Well, Artastic Nation, that's the end of this episode. Tune in on Tuesday evening at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or 8 p.m. Eastern for the premiere of the next episode. Please subscribe to this channel. For more art tutorials, visit my blog at MsArtastic.com. Creative, high-quality art resources for teachers can be found at my TPT store, Ms. Artastic. All links are available in the description of this video. See you next time.